Reverend Insanity Chapter 1051 Three Supreme True Inheritances Be it Dang Hun Mountain, Luo Po Valley, or Wisdom Gu, they were priceless treasures, unique in this world, exceptional in their domains. Fang Yuan said they could be traded, but what could Lang Yalan's spirit use to buy them? Fang Yuan did not reject him, he was waiting in anticipation. Lang Ya Blessed Land had a deep foundation, it was not simple. It had survived the eras of two venerables and existed up to this day. After Imperial Court Blessed Land was destroyed, it could be called the number one blessed land in the five regions. When he was alive, the land spirit was known as the number one refinement path immortal of all times. He faintly surpassed old eccentric Tian Nan and old immortal Kongju. Such a character? How could he not have anything worth trading? Like immortal Gu transactions, each one was unique. Unparalleled items could be exchanged using similarly unparalleled items. The assessment of their value depended on the individual's own circumstances. Dang Hun Mountain, Luo Po Valley, and Wisdom Gu, these three were not objects that Fang Yuan would not trade away, as long as the gain was worth it. Lang Yilan's spirit started to pace around. He frowned, entering deep thought. If it were the previous land spirit, there would be no need for consideration. He would trade with Fang Yuan. But after changing personality, this new Lang Ya land spirit had a different focus. The white-haired land spirit was formed from the obsession about space escape Gu. Thus he is only interested in refining Gu. He nurtured all of the hairy man Gu immortals to be refinement path experts. But this black hair land spirit wants to turn hairy men into the dominant race. I can make good use of this point. Fang Yuan thought, seeing this land spirit walking around, he patiently waited for his decision. Fang Yuan had a sense of confidence. He believed that Lang Ya land spirit would not disappoint him. As Fang Yuan had expected, after struggling, Lang Ya land spirit made up his mind and decided to trade with Fang Yuan. First Supreme Elder, I am not doubting your ability to trade with me, but it has to suit both of us. If the things you have cannot match my expectations, I am afraid, Fang Yuan purposely said. Lang Ya land spirit stared as he said grumpily, Don't worry, my Lang Ya sex treasures are not inferior to those three things. Saying so, he handed Fang Yuan an information path gooworm. Fang Yuan stretched out his arm, receiving this goo worm. This goo was like a silkworm, although it had a head, thorax and abdomen, three distinct parts. Its body looked like a cocoon overall, round and cute. It was white and looked like a vase, with a shiny glaze on the surface. Fang Yuan held it in his hand. It was smooth and shiny, it had a good feel to it when handled. This is a bookworm? Fang Yuan was slightly shocked. He had seen bookworms before, they were a type of valuable rank 1 goo. But what shocked him was, this bookworm was emanating rank 3 aura. Lang Yalan spirit snorted, saying, This is something my previous self made. He broke the limits of the rank 1 bookworm, developing rank 2 and 3 versions of it. But what use do they have? If enemies attack, can the bookworms defend us? Even though he said that, Fang Yuan could hear vague smugness hidden in Lang Yalan's spirit's tone. Fang Yuan shook his head, without speaking, he used a trace of the unlimited primeval essence in his immortal essence to use the bookworm, as well as sending a portion of his consciousness into it. He did not own the bookworm, but he had borrowed it from Lang Yalan's spirit, thus he could use it without obstruction. Fang Yuan's eyes were shining. The information in the bookworm made him extremely excited. His heartbeat rose. As I expected, Fang Yuan praised in his mind. His thoughts were frothing about uncontrollably. Fang Yuan had returned to Lang Ya Blessed Land and spent a lot of time recuperating. At this time, his immortal aperture's calamity was around the corner. Ying Wu Zai, Hai Lu Lan, who immortal blessed land, fixed immortal travel. All of these things did not matter now. His biggest obstacle was to pass this calamity. Once in a while, calamities and tribulations descend in a goo immortal's immortal aperture. 
the deeper the foundation of the immortal aperture, the stronger the calamities and tribulations. Fang Yuan's current immortal aperture had not been managed yet, it was empty. But it had an incredibly huge space and a large time path foundation in it. It was even not limited by the separate natures of the five regions. Such an immortal aperture far surpassed the ten extreme physiques combined. The calamities and tribulations he was going to face would be unprecedentedly dangerous. One could say, this was a sharp blade hanging around Fang Yuan's neck. When he was recuperating, Fang Yuan had been training Fang Zheng as well as considering his circumstances. There was only a few days until the calamity. Fang Yuan did not have much confidence. He was uncertain about it. Most of his immortal goo were left in his original body. A number were destroyed, while the others were left with Ying Wu Zai. Fang Yuan's strength was much lower now. Tai Bai Yun Sheng and Hai Lu Lan were nowhere to be found, while Fairy Lai Shan and Blazing Heaven Demoness were dead. The only help he could get was from Lang Ya Blessed Land. And Lang Ya Blessed Land must have survived a lot of calamities and tribulations after existing for so many years. It was a successful example that had dealt with many tribulations. There was bound to be much for Fang Yuan to learn from it. How is it? Lang Ya Lan's spirit smiled and said. He raised three fingers at Fang Yuan. My Lang Ya sect has three major foundations. Firstly, the refinement path true inheritance left behind by my main body. It has the essence of my entire life's cultivation. Secondly, the luck path true inheritance left by giant sun immortal venerable. Thirdly, the theft path true inheritance left by thieving heaven demon venerable. When my main body was alive, I had refined goo for these two venerables. The payment I requested were one of each of their true inheritances. Fang Yuan gave a slight nod. The bookworm recorded details of these three true inheritances. No matter which one, they were deep and profound. Fang Yuan only saw their most superficial information and was already deeply attracted by them. They were extremely valuable. Lang Yalan's spirit continued. Among these three true inheritances, the thieving heaven true inheritance is the least valuable. That is because my main body created space escape goo, but could not activate it. Thus, I returned a portion of the payment. However, thieving heaven demon venerable's true inheritances all come in pairs. If you are lucky, after getting this true inheritance, and if the other true inheritance is not obtained yet, you might get clues to the second true inheritance. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable left behind a total of ten true inheritances, but only otherworldly demons can receive most of them. Only the one I have is an exception. Fang Yuan, you are an otherworldly demon. You can easily obtain the other Thieving Heaven true inheritance if it is still available. Fang Yuan gave a slight nod. He had seen the power of Formless Hand. Using theft path methods, he could steal the immortal goo of others and gain the greatest benefits after every battle. And some methods that Fang Yuan relied on greatly, unfamiliar face, vaguely familiar face, and familiar face, were also thieving heaven demon venerable's immortal killer moves. Fang Yuan had experienced the benefits of stealing. This true inheritance would not disappoint him. After pausing for a while, Lang Ya Lan's spirit continued. Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable had a total of ten true inheritances, but Giant Sun Immortal Venerable only had three. When I was alive, I refined the Immortal Goo House 88 True Young building for him. Thus, this true inheritance's value is higher than Thieving Heaven's. Giant Sun Immortal Venerable's three true inheritances encompass all of his methods regarding luck path. They are self-luck, all living beings' luck, and heaven and earth luck, among which the self-luck true inheritance is with me. The all living beings' luck true inheritance was inside Imperial Court Blessed Land. As for the heaven and earth luck true inheritance, it is in longevity heaven. Self-luck, all living beings' luck, heaven and earth luck. Connect luck immortal goo, break luck immortal goo, Divert Disaster Immortal Goo, they were part of the All Living Beings' Luck True Inheritance. After Imperial Court Blessed Land was destroyed by Fang Yuan, 
Some of these immortal goo were sent outside. As for the details of cultivation involved in it, they were already lost. Fang Yuan and Ma Hong Yun had interacted. He knew about the power of luck path. Ignoring other things, if I had divert disaster immortal goo, I could mimic imperial court blessed land and send my calamities and tribulations outside. Fang Yuan knew that luck path was very useful for his tribulations. Even if this self-luck true inheritance did not have goo like divert disaster immortal goo, the higher Fang Yuan's luck was, the weaker his calamities and tribulations would be, he could deal with them more easily. Fang Yuan, I would suggest you take the self-luck true inheritance, because your luck seems to be really bad. Lang Yalan spirit said, Just now, how many problems and mishaps occurred when you came back from southern border? Even on my end, I lost two hairy man goo immortals, you can't even imagine the cause. In order to refine fortune rivaling heaven immortal goo, old ancestor Zhu who ordered the demonic path goo immortals in snowy mountain blessed land to collect materials for him. This act made the loyalty of his members drop. At a crucial moment, a traitor appeared in snowy mountain blessed land, stealing one of the most crucial materials. Old ancestor Zhu who was enraged, he dispatched goo immortals to capture any suspicious people. The hairy man Goo Immortal I sent to receive you was implicated. As for the second Goo Immortal who disappeared mysteriously, I have not even discovered what was the cause of his disappearance. I believe that one day, the truth will come out. They will not be sacrificed in vain, Fang Yuan urged. Lang Yalan spirit gritted his teeth. He did not continue this topic. He went back to the previous one. Actually, it seems to me that the true inheritance which suits you the most is the first one. Refinement Path has two styles, do you know of them? I have heard of them, Fang Yuan said. Lang Yalan's spirit continued. The two styles are the hairy man heaven and earth style, and the human isolation style. Us hairy men refine goo differently from humans. We can use the Tao marks of heaven and earth to create the most conducive environment to refine Gu and increase the chance of succeeding in the Gu refinement. Fang Yuan listened patiently. Lang Yalan spirit would have his reasons for saying this. Back then, Giant Sun Immortal Venerable and Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable had requested help from my main body. That was because my main body used the hairy men heaven and earth style to refine Gu. The success rate of refining goo was higher than your human isolation style. My main body not only knew the essence of the hairy man heaven and earth style, I even used old immortal Kong Ju's true inheritance to break past our limits. Reaching a higher level, I conceptualized an immortal killer move, called Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture. Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture? Fang Yuan's eyes shined, he felt deep interest. Lang Yalan spirit smiled with great pride as he continued explaining. As it turned out, this killer move, Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture, was a refinement path killer move that used several immortal goo and more than a hundred thousand mortal goo to form. It had an ingenious concept. It used the blessed land or grotto heaven as the target of refinement, using the killer move to connect the immortal aperture with the outside world of the five regions, influencing the calamity or tribulation and using it to temper the immortal aperture itself. The calamities and tribulations of immortal apertures can have all sorts of strangeness. It makes them hard to deal with. But using this killer move, one can restrict the type of calamities and tribulations that happen. Do you know why Langya Blessed Land was placed around Crescent Lake in the past? That was because the area near Crescent Lake has a lot of water path Dao marks and refinement path Dao marks. My previous self always used the killer move, Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture, to deal with calamities and tribulations. Most often, water path and refinement path calamities would occur. After passing them, the Immortal Aperture would gain water path and refinement path Dao marks. 180,000 years ago, Langya Blessed Land had no seas. But now, look at this vast ocean. The huge landmass has been reduced to three continents. 
This is the effect of a huge number of water path Dao marks. Fang Yuan heard of this and thought about spectral soul, using the myriad tribulations to refine the sovereign immortal fetus Gu. This killer move, immortal tribulation tempering aperture, is very similar in concept to spectral soul's method. No, Shadow Sect had spies inside Lang Ya Blessed Land. Maybe Spectral Soul's method originated from Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture. Fang Yuan guessed correctly. Spectral Soul Demon Venerable's method was derived from the killer move Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture. But his methods were more refined. He used Wisdom Path to deduce the type of tribulations before making additional preparations. It was not like this immortal tribulation tempering aperture. It could only influence calamities and tribulations. There was a chance of failure. In the calamities and tribulations that Lang Ya Blessed Land went through, there were also fire path and lightning path tribulations. Not all were water path and refinement path. All right, you have Luo Po Valley, Dang Han Mountain, and Wisdom Gu. I also have three true inheritances. We can do a one-to-one -one trade, which one do you want to exchange for? Lang Ya Land Spirit asked. This time, it was Fang Yuan's turn to decide. What should he choose? Chapter 1052, listed on the board, Heavenly Court's Pursuit. Central Continent, Who Immortal Blessed Land. Fairy's eye Y slowly opened her eyes. She was adorned in a beautiful purple robe which could hardly conceal her graceful figure. Her eyes were like deep, dark pools, with a sense of sorrow shrouding her face. Her skin was white as snow and her black hair hung down to her waist. Her whole body was brimming with rank 8 aura. Letting out a breath, she withdrew her wisdom path killer move and descended from the air. Greetings to Ancestor Zai Wai. On the ground, Fong Jin Huang, who had been waiting for a long time, quickly knelt down on the ground respectfully when she saw Fairy Zai Wai. The corners of Fairy Zai Wai's lips slightly curled up as she revealed a rare smile, the sadness on her face immediately faded and she seemed to blossom with radiance, giving off an immortal beauty that could move people's souls. Huang Er, get up, no need to stand on ceremony. Speaking of it, your mother and I have some blood relation. From the looks of it, she was extremely pleased with this junior Fong Jin Huang. Fong Jin Huang stood up with a reverential and admiring expression. The person in front of her was a rank 8 Gu immortal. In Fong Jin Huang's mind, she did not dare to have extravagant hopes regarding the rank 9 realm. Rank 8 was her lifelong dream. This fairy's eye Y in front of her originated from Spirit Affinity House and had extremely high seniority in the sect. She had lived for at least 1,600 years. She cultivated wisdom path and had joined heavenly court. She was dignified and beautiful. And it could be said she was everything Fong Jin Huang admired and was a realistic reference for the latter's ideal goal. Ancestor Zai Wai, you have been deducing for three months in Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Did you find anything? Fong Jin Huang asked in curiosity. Fairy Zai Wai gave a slight nod. At this moment, she had already descended in front of Fong Jin Huang and was only a foot away from the ground, slowly floating in the air. This was part of her personality. She had somewhat of an obsession towards cleanliness. It was not necessary for her to speak about this to Fong Jin Huang, but Fairy Zai Wai still replied, After these days of deductions, I am certain the original owner of Who Immortal Blessed Land, Who Immortal, was a member of the organization Defy. Defy? Feng Jin Huang's pupils shrank in surprise. She might be immortal, but with parents who were famous Gu immortals, she was aware of many secrets. She had heard of this organization named Defy. It was a powerful undercover force of Central Continent, made from the secret alliance of some Gu immortals. The ten great ancient sects of Central Continent held the vast majority of resources and authority, controlling and suppressing other forces or lone cultivators. Where there was suppression, there would be rebellion. Organized forces rebelling against Central Continent's ten great ancient sects were not few in number. However, 
these forces usually did not last for long as they were either taken down by the ten great ancient sects or they disintegrated by themselves through internal discord. However, this organization, Defy, was greatly hidden and was the force that had lasted the longest. It was not that the ten great ancient sects had not targeted them, but there had been no effect. Most importantly, this organization was hidden truly deeply. Even the members of the organization did not know the identities of other members and only used code names in numbers to address each other. Right now, Feng Jin Huang suddenly heard who Immortal had been a member of Defy. She was truly surprised. On the surface, who Immortal was a lone Immortal, and she obtained Dang Hun Mountain through fortuitous encounters and coincidence. Looking over it now, Defy was helping her from behind the scenes. Fairy Zai Wai continued. Feng Jin Huang's eyes flashed. She recalled the scene when she was miserably defeated and under Fang Yuan's feet, guessing. Does that mean Fang Yuan is also a member of Defy? No wonder he appeared back then so coincidentally. Fairy Zai Wai, however, frowned slightly. I attempted to deduce this. The result seems to be uncertain. But no matter what, Fang Yuan must have a deep connection with Defy. Huang Er, you have been avoiding contact with Hu Immortal Land Spirit and haven't become the true owner of this blessed land. Are you thinking of returning this blessed land to Fang Yuan? Ancestor Zai Wai, cold sweat seeped out of Feng Jin Huang's forehead. Fairy Zai Wai smiled and reassured, We are family, you don't need to worry. I know Fang Yuan undoubtedly saved Fang Juji. Your father has stunning talents and is astonishingly gifted. He is someone who will leave a deep mark in history. What's more, he repays kindness and hatred. He is loyal and righteous. I understand why he requested this of you. Fang Jin Huang quickly said, Ancestor Zai Wai, you are magnanimous. Fairy Zai Wai waved her hand stopping Feng Jin Huang's words, speaking in a slightly meaningful tone. But you need to remember, Fang Yuan is a wanted criminal listed on the demon judgment board by Heavenly Court. Should you want to repay his kindness, you should not overdo it. In the future, I won't stop you if you truly want to return who immortal blessed land to him. I can even take responsibility for this. But that will be my bottom line. I hope that you too will not become too persistent and commit a huge mistake. Fong Jin Huang lowered her head. I shall engrave your words in mind, ancestor. Fairy Zai Wai gave a slight nod before lightly flying to the sky. As she flew, a gap opened up in Hu Immortal Blessed Land which connected to the outside world. She then turned into a purple ray of light that flew out like a meteor disappearing from Feng Jin Huang's sight in an instant. Fairy Zai Wai flew straight to Heavenly Court. In Heavenly Court, halls stood tall and upright everywhere. The purple ray of light Fairy Zai Wai had turned into cut through the air and entered a large hall. Inside the hall, Fairy Zai Wai's main body was sitting cross-legged on a mat, discussing with two other Heavenly Court Gu Immortals. The purple light flickered as it landed on her hand. It turned into a will, several immortal goo, and a few beads of immortal essence. The fairy Zai Wai, who had been at Hu Immortal Blessed Land, was merely a will of the main body. This will send the results of the deductions to fairy Zai Wai's mind. Fairy Zai Wai stored the immortal goo and immortal essence into her immortal aperture. She closed her eyes and went through the deduction results. Several breaths of time later, she opened her deep, dark eyes and lightly said, We have already found clues to Fang Yuan. An old Gu immortal sitting in front of her, who was known as Myriad Tidal Dragon, smiled. Fairy Zai Wai, you live up to your reputation of being a wisdom path great expert on the same level as Heaven Overseeing Tower Lord. You actually are able to use a will to deduce the crucial clues. The more a will thinks, the more it is consumed. Even Giant Sun Immortal Venerable Special will left in 88 True Yang building had to hibernate to prevent expending itself due to thinking. Fairy Zai Wai's method, however, was mysterious and powerful. She used only a will to deduce, and not only did she succeed, 
that portion of will was not consumed by even 20%. Such an attainment was truly awe-inspiring. Fairy Ziwai's main body had a slightly sorrowful expression. She did not comment on myriad tidal dragons' praise, continuing. If Fang Yuan had not already been managing who immortal blessed land for some time, I would not have been able to deduce any clues. Fang Yuan has a close connection to Defy. Although I was not able to obtain Fang Yuan's exact location, I know as long as we follow the clues and eliminate the core aspects of Defy, we will be able to find Fang Yuan. Myriad Tidal Dragon nodded. Fang Yuan has Spring Autumn Cicada. He destroyed Imperial Court Blessed Land and has obtained inheritances of Red Lotus Demon Venerable, Thieving Heaven Demon Venerable and Giant Sun Immortal Venerable. He is also an otherworldly demon and was actually able to survive the battle in Southern Border. Such a dangerous variable must be eliminated. But if we want to deal with him, we must first deal with Spring Autumn Cicada. You can rest assured about this, after I woke up, I immediately made some preparations. I already successfully activated a killer move several days ago and have sealed Spring Autumn Cicada. It won't be able to activate within three months of time. The third Gu Immortal present in the hall spoke. His voice was hoarse, he had a middle-aged appearance with dark bags under his eyes and looked listless, giving others an impression of extreme fatigue. However, Fairy Zai Wai and Myriad Tidal Dragon seemed to have confidence in him. The latter smiled. Since you, Wai Ling Yang, have made the move, then Spring Autumn Cicada is of no concern. Fairy Zai Wai spoke. Then we shall go to Ming Tang Valley to capture Gong Sun Liang. At the same time, in Central Continent, at the banks of Pot River. Ying Wu Zai was standing at the riverbank, looking at the green willows and feeling the gentle breeze. However, he was feeling erratic inside. After detouring around the collapsed area in Earth Abyss, he, along with Tai Bai Yun Sheng, Hai Lu Lan, and Xi Niu had moved quite a distance before he could use a Gu formation to transport them to the eastern part of Central Continent. This area was under the jurisdiction of Wind Cloud Manor. Ying Wu Zai had Fang Yuan's body and as such, was a criminal wanted by Heavenly Court and Central Continent's ten great ancient sects. However, he still risked staying here and even had been staying here for three days. He was waiting for a person. Which person was worth him taking such a huge risk? A green shadow approached them while flying at low altitude. Ying Wu Zai's mind jolted. He went to welcome the person. The green shadow landed on the ground and halted. It was not a real person but a puppet. This puppet had a human figure with two hands and two legs. Its body was also robust but its whole body seemed to be knitted with green grass and rough vines, its head, shoulders, and even its rear had green grass growing all over them, all spiking up like knives. The green grass puppet looked at the goo worm in Ying Wu's eye's hand and recognizing he was its objective, it hummed with a haughty tone. My master was invited to participate in Ancestor Kong Kong's treasure appraisal event, so he could not come. If you want to see him, you will have to wait three more days. Wait for three more days? Ying Wu's eyes' expression slightly changed. What? If you don't have the patience, you don't need to wait. I will quickly go back to inform Master. The green grass puppet spoke indifferently. I will wait. Ying Wu's eye hurriedly smiled. I have already waited for three days. There is no harm in waiting three more days. It is just that three days later... It will be a whole six days. If I somehow am still unable to see your master, then I can only give up on this transaction. The green grass puppet snorted before turning around and leaving. Several steps later, it lightly stomped on the ground, leaping to the air and turning once again into a green shadow. After he left, Ying Wu's eye's expression immediately sank his gaze flickering incessantly as he gazed at the receding figure of the green grass puppet. When the green puppet's shadow was out of Ying Wu's eye's vision, three Gu immortals appeared from the surroundings, gathering towards Ying Wu's eye. They were Tai Bai Yun Sheng, Hai Lu Lan, and Xinu. That green grass puppet just now, 
Is it the rumored grass puppet avatar? Tai Bai Yun Sheng asked in curiosity. Right. Ying Wu Zai nodded. It is a grass puppet avatar, formed from the rank 6 grass puppet Gu with rank 6 battle strength. When Feng Chan Zai ascended to immortal, his grandfather, old man Bei Feng, gave this grass puppet immortal Gu to him as a gift. Feng Chan Zai is wildly arrogant. We waited so long for him, and he isn't even coming to meet us. He only sent a grass puppet avatar to meet us. Hai Lulan was dissatisfied. She knew sighed, saying helplessly, To refine fixed immortal travel, we must have the light of the immemorial era. All Gu recipes of fixed immortal travel revolves around this critical material. And the light of the immemorial era, such a rare Gu refinement material, is one of the treasures of Wind Cloud Manor. We have no choice but to put up with them. Ying Wu's eye coldly snorted, but did not speak. He wanted to rescue his main body, and to do that, he had to pass the regional wall. He was not like Fang Yuan, so fixed immortal travel was almost a necessary goo to pass the regional wall. Right now, he could only endure it. He inwardly thought, Spring Autumn Cicada has already been sealed. It seems Heavenly Court has begun to investigate me. I can't stay for long in Central Continent. After I refine fixed immortal travel, I need to hurry to Northern Plains and borrow luck from Longevity Heaven. Perhaps I can even make use of the power to conveniently get rid of Fang Yuan. Hmm. No, considering the time, tomorrow should be the day Fang Yuan has his earthly calamity. The earthly calamity of Sovereign Immortal Aperture won't be easy to pass. Heaven's will cannot affect Fang Yuan, but can still make arrangements to deal with him. Most likely, not only will there be calamities and tribulations, there could also be human disasters. Chapter 1053 Fang Yuan Undergoes Tribulation 15 To think that I am back here again? Fang Yuan sighed internally. He stopped flying as he descended from the sky. All he saw was white. An icy land filled with snow. Huff, huff, huff. Harsh winds blew around him. In this intense wind, countless snowflakes and even icicles were flying around. Because of the blizzard, Fang Yuan's vision was greatly hindered. Because the temperature was very low, Fang Yuan had to use many goo worms to maintain his body temperature, to defend himself from the cold winds. This was still northern plains. But the location was at the northernmost end of northern plains. It was known to people as the Northern Icy Plain. This place originally had a grassland, but because of a devastating battle by experts, the entire terrain was completely destroyed, turning into a void of complete nothingness. After the battle, the victor, reckless savage demon venerable, turned into an immemorial desolate beast ice phoenix and breathed out absolute profound ice to freeze and restore this place. Earlier, Hai Lu Lan chose this place to undergo her immortal ascension and become an immortal. That was because the icy plain had reckless savage demon venerable's true meaning in strength path and transformation path. When strength path or transformation path Gu masters ascend here, there would be a resonance of Tao marks. The strength path and transformation path true meaning would manifest using the earthly calamity. When the person undergoing tribulation destroys the earthly calamity, they would receive the infusion of true meaning. It was the same as receiving reckless savage demon venerable's guidance. Memories flashed in Fang Yuan's mind. The image was so vivid, like it was yesterday. But now, times were different. Fairy Lai Shan who had the highest cultivation level was dead. Hai Lu Lan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng had likely been forced to betray him. Only Fang Yuan was left now. His situation was very different from back then as well. Strength Path and Transformation Path Gu Masters can only receive Reckless Savage Demon Venerable's infusion of true meaning once, that is during their immortal ascension. But now, with the killer move Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture, I might be able to replicate it again. Fang Yuan thought. He had not done anything like this before, he was not very certain. But after talking with Lang Yalan's spirit, he realized that there was a high possibility of success. 
Hai Lu Lan had the great strength true martial physique. During her immortal ascension, the danger was huge. She lost her immortal goo to barely pass it. My immortal aperture's calamity is probably far more terrifying than hers. Fang Yuan felt immense pressure. If not for the situation, he would not want to undergo tribulation so early. Although once in a while, calamities and tribulations would occur in the immortal aperture. Gu immortals had many methods to deal with them. The most common were time path methods to delay the rate of time of the immortal aperture, to stall the arrival of the calamities and tribulations. But this way, the resources inside the immortal aperture would greatly diminish in production. The gains and losses had to be assessed according to the Gu Immortals' situation. Lang Ya Blessed Land had once used time path methods and modified the tributary of the River of Time in the Immortal Aperture. Thus, the time in the Immortal Aperture was greatly slowed. But this method was not from Lang Ya Land spirit. In the past, Long Hair Ancestor had requested the help of a time path great expert. I have too large of a tributary of the river of time in this immortal aperture. I have to undergo tribulation every two months in the outside world. Even though my cultivation level rises quickly, and the resources in the immortal aperture grow rapidly, if I cannot endure the calamities and tribulations and die, it would be for nothing. After this calamity, I need to find some time path methods to modify the tributary of the river of time in my immortal aperture. These were all matters for the future. The important thing now was the impending calamity. Huff. Fang Yuan let out a breath as his body shook. A mystical change was occurring in his immortal aperture. Immortal aperture, fall here. Fang Yuan gritted his teeth. A mystical light shone in his eyes. Following a loud sound, his vision changed. Taking a glance, he was already inside his immortal aperture. Five regions, nine heavens. It was vast and empty. There were no cultivation resources, because Fang Yuan had not started managing it yet. Only all sorts of goo worms were placed in here. At this moment, these goo worms were flying around Fang Yuan. They were huge in quantity, resembling a giant black cloud. Normally speaking, the immortal aperture was inside the goo immortal's body. But now, the immortal aperture was placed in the outside world, and the goo immortal's body was drawn inside. At this moment, the situation with Fang Yuan's body was like that of a land spirit. He could move freely inside the immortal aperture, but he could not leave. And the immortal aperture itself could connect to the heaven and earth Kai outside and stabilize itself. When goo immortals undergo tribulation, they would normally place their immortal apertures in the outside world. There was another situation, that was when Gu Immortal's immortal aperture had too many resources. If the heaven and earth Kai inside were too limited in quantity, they would need to place the immortal aperture to take in and replenish the heaven and earth Kai. On the spot that Fang Yuan was originally standing, he had already disappeared. The immortal aperture was placed on the ice and entered a point in space. It could not be seen as it was linked to the empty space. The blizzard was still blowing. There were no changes, as if Fang Yuan had never come. Everything was as per normal. But at the next moment, when Fang Yuan opened the entrance of the immortal aperture, everything changed. In an instant, the entire surroundings rumbled. The glaciers shook. Endless heaven and earth Kai rushed into the immortal aperture through the entrance. Soon, a vast amount of heaven and earth Kai engulfed the place. Blizzards and hail were converted into pure heaven and earth Kai. The entrance of the immortal aperture was connected to the outside world. By opening it, Fang Yuan's immortal aperture started to connect to the outside world, drawing in heaven and earth Kai continuously. It was like a giant monster lurking in the sea, emerging out of the water and opening its mouth to suck in air. The vast amount of heaven and earth Kai rushed in, causing a tremor in the entire immortal aperture. But the magnitude was so small normal people could not notice it. At the same time, the tributary of the River of Time started to fuse with the River of Time of the outside world. The rate of time of the immortal aperture thus slowed greatly. 
When immortal apertures were placed outside, the rate of time inside would greatly decrease, converging towards the five regions time. Langya blessed land itself was modified by a time path Gu immortal, and was also placed in the five regions. The rate of time inside was very close to that of the five regions. Many Gu immortals would also choose to place their immortal apertures outside and hide inside the immortal aperture in consideration of their lifespan. Out of nowhere, a sensation informed Fang Yuan that the calamity was coming. But because the immortal aperture was placed outside and time slowed down, Fang Yuan could clearly sense that the calamity was approaching at a slower rate. This was normal. Every Gu Immortals would feel this whenever they had calamities and tribulations. It was like the premonition of an earthquake. Animals would growl and go berserk. It was the signifying of an apocalypse. Heaven and Earth Kai continued to gush in at a slower rate. The waterfall at the start had become a large river. In just a short while, it turned into a stream. The appetite of the Immortal Aperture was limited. Fang Yuan was calm. He had rich experience. After seeing the heaven and earth Kai, he started to organize his goo worms. Most of the goo worms in the immortal aperture had already been arranged. The important thing was regarding the outside world. A vast number of goo worms flew outside of the entrance like swarms of bees. Even though Fang Yuan could not leave, the goo worms could. Next, he controlled the goo worms and set up arrangements. In a few minutes, the arrangements were completed. Fang Yuan did not hesitate as he injected his immortal essence, activating the goo worms. The immortal goo flew up one by one, shining with bright lights while floating in the sky. The lights weaved together, eventually resonating with the goo worms in the outside world. Finally, a huge blue-colored image was formed. It engulfed the immortal aperture and even expanded into the outside world covering a huge surrounding area of the icy plain. Immortal killer move immortal tribulation tempering aperture. Large amounts of immortal essence were expended. Over 10,000 were used, but it was just the start. The core immortal goo of this killer move were mostly rank 7. Fang Yuan's green grape immortal essence were consumed rapidly. Thankfully, he had already obtained a large amount of immortal essence stones from Lang Yalan spirit. He even borrowed Heavenly Essence Treasure Imperial Lotus. Fifteen minutes later, the killer move was completed, and Fang Yuan's Immortal Essence was consumed by 60%. This expenditure has greatly exceeded the number that Lang Yalan Spirit said. But he also mentioned that the expenditure was dependent on the Immortal Aperture's world itself, changing accordingly. Before undergoing the tribulation, Fang Yuan had already consumed more than half of his immortal essence. However, he had already negotiated with Lang Yalan spirit, he could rapidly borrow immortal essence stones if needed. In this tribulation, Lang Ye Blessed Land was Fang Yuan's greatest backer. But it was inappropriate to borrow now. Lang Yalan spirit would feel suspicious. They had already prepared enough moving perspective cup goo to transport things during the tribulation. As for what the calamity would be, it was unknown. He felt that the calamity was close. Fang Yuan collected his goo worms, he closed the entrance and waited in the immortal aperture patiently. During this period, he checked his goo worms again. An hour later, the calamity descended. The immortal aperture started to shake. Heaven and Earth Kai appeared from every direction. This was the Heaven and Earth Kai inside the Immortal Aperture. In an instant, Heaven and Earth Kai clashed as a blizzard formed. Snow was moving wildly as fierce winds flew. In an instant, the Immortal Aperture turned into an icy world. Fang Yuan saw this and was overjoyed. Did the Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture method work? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The blizzard rampaged in the Immortal Aperture. Snow monsters formed in the blizzard one after another. Snow monster calamity? Slash! Fang Yuan muttered internally, floating in the air as goo worms flew around him. Forming a defensive barrier, he shot out flying sword immortal goo. Swoosh! Flying sword goo pierced through a snow monster's head, 
coming out from the back. In an instant, it flew back to Fang Yuan. The snow monster cried out. The injuries in its head healed on its own as it continued to charge at Fang Yuan. Snow monsters were like mud monsters and cloud beasts. If their core was not destroyed, they were hard to kill. All of these were problematic opponents. Flying Sword Gu alone could not be effective. But what I am using now is a sword path killer move. Fang Yuan smiled coldly. The snow monster ran for a few steps before growling. Its core had been destroyed, as if its bones had melted. The snow monster broke down and became a pile of snow. Sword Path Killer Move Sword Marks Targeting Death Chapter 1054 Fang Yuan Undergoes Tribulation 25 Fang Yuan was someone who learned from his mistakes. While traveling to Northern Plains, he encountered the mud monster and cloud beasts, suffering great losses because of them. Now that he was undergoing tribulation, how could he not fix this weakness? Speaking of which, there was a complicated story behind the immortal killer move sword marks targeting death. When Fang Yuan entered Lang Ya Blessed Land, he healed himself while seeking help from Lang Ya Land Spirit to reverse refine Flying Sword Immortal Gu and the other Rank 7 Immortal Gu. He was a Rank 6 Gu Immortal now. It was very hard for him to use Rank 7 Immortal Gu. Lang Ya Land Spirit was very straightforward because Fang Yuan was a member of Lang Ya sect. As an external supreme elder, he was one of them. He gave good advice. I can obviously reverse refine these immortal Gu, and to reverse refine them from rank 7 to rank 6 will be much easier than promoting them to rank 7 from rank 6. But don't you find it a waste? Most importantly, reverse refinement would take quite some time. Your tribulation is nearing, there is little time. If you start the reverse refinement now, it will not be done in time. You might as well use this killer move. Lang Yalan's spirit said this as he handed the killer move, sword marks targeting death, to Fang Yuan. You are very lucky. This killer move was bought by my previous self. It is suitable for many sword path immortal Gu to use. Fang Yuan felt strange when he heard that Long Hair Ancestor was purely a refinement path Gu Immortal. Why would the Land Spirit purchase a sword path killer move that he could not use? But after looking at it, he understood why. As it turned out, Sword Marks Targeting Death was a killer move that permanently expended the Dao Marks in the sword path Immortal Gu to carve them on the target. After the sword path Immortal Gu flies away, the sword path Dao marks would find the target's weak spot and attack it. Like earlier, Fang Yuan used Flying Sword Immortal Gu as the core to use sword marks targeting death and pierced the desolate beast's snow monster. This attack was not fatal. The wound caused by the Immortal Gu healed quickly. But the Dao marks it left behind were still in the snow monster's body. It attacked its hidden core and once broken. The snow monster suffered a fatal blow and died. This way, Flying Sword Immortal Gu could kill targets like snow monsters. It no longer worked with little effect against these enemies. But this killer move had a huge drawback. That was the permanent expenditure of the Immortal Gu's Dao marks. Immortal Gu were large fragments of the Great Dao, the product of countless Dao marks. The higher the rank of the Immortal Gu, the larger the fragment of the Great Dao, and the higher the number of Dao marks. The more sword marks targeting death was used, the fewer the Dao marks in the sword path Immortal Gu, they could not be recovered. This way, the Immortal Gu would get weaker and weaker. At a certain point, a qualitative change would occur, and the rank 6 Immortal Gu would turn back into a Mortal Gu, or the rank 7 Immortal Gu would become a rank 6. This weakness was severe. It made Sword Marks targeting death an unfavored killer move. The previous Lang Ya Land Spirit bought this killer move for a low price because he was interested in the killer move itself. In fact, every usage of the Sword Path killer move Sword Marks targeting death was akin to reverse refining the Immortal Goo. Except that the reverse refinement was very minute. A large number of usages were needed to produce a clear effect. Once Fang Yuan understood this, 
he knew why Lang Yalan spirit had bought this killer move. The previous Lang Yalan spirit's favorite interest was to refine Gu. Fang Yuan thought over it and accepted this sword path killer move. Without question, this killer move was extremely suitable for him now. Winds howled as snow blew around. Sword light entered the blizzard. The blizzard could not block the sharp sword light, it was easily pierced. The sword light drew a beautiful arc in the sky. It hit a desolate beast snow monster's chest before flying out from its back, turning around and flying back to Fang Yuan. The injuries healed quickly. The desolate beast snow monster laughed. It was about to move when its body scattered, turning into a pile of snow. In a breath's time, dozens of small snow monsters came out of this pile. But these snow monsters were only 10 or 20 feet tall. They were not a problem. Another sword marks targeting death. This move was very effective. Desolate beast snow monsters were destroyed in just one hit. Fang Yuan nodded in satisfaction. At this point, he finally experienced one of the advantages of Sword Path. When Gu Masters cultivate, they use Gu, Nurture Gu, and Refine Gu. These are extremely profound and deep. It is still Flying Sword Immortal Gu, but I changed the method of usage and received an incredibly different result. Again, Fang Yuan used Sword Marks targeting death again. In the blizzard, Desolate Beast Snow Monsters formed again, but they were quickly killed by Fang Yuan. The strength of the snow monsters were related to their size. 10 or 20 feet tall snow monsters could be dealt with by rank 1 or 2 Gu Masters. 60 feet tall snow monsters were desolate beasts, they were on par with rank 6 Gu Immortals. 70 feet tall snow monsters were equal to rank 7 Gu Immortals. These 60 feet tall snow monsters were all killed by Fang Yuan. They were easy targets. Fang Yuan's battle strength was raised greatly. Back then in Hu Immortal Blessed Land, he had so much trouble facing the Swamp Crab, but now against an endless number of snow monsters, he could fight calmly and control the situation. But Fang Yuan did not relax. He was staying vigilant. I am having an easy time because I am using the rank 7 Flying Sword Immortal Gu to deal with desolate beast snow monsters and also because Sword Marks targeting death is a powerful move that consumes Dao Marks. Furthermore, the Swamp Crab had brought over Gruel Mud Immortal Goo's effect with it, while these snow monsters have no such Immortal Goo. Hmm. Fang Yuan's expression focused. He observed closely, after those desolate beasts snow monsters died, the new, small snow monsters that were formed were growing in size. 10 feet to 20 feet, 20 feet to 30 feet. These snow monsters were growing stronger. If they are allowed to continue growing, would they become 60 feet desolate beast snow monsters? Fang Yuan did not dare to be careless. He stopped using flying sword immortal goo. As he waved his hands, countless dark vortexes flew out. Bam, bam, bam. These black bullets rained down like a storm. The snow monsters were instantly faced with a disaster, countless numbers died. But soon, from these smaller snow monsters' corpses, more of them spawned. Fang Yuan killed dozens of snow monsters, but over a hundred came back up. Fang Yuan saw this and frowned, he felt troubled. But he observed carefully. Although the snow monsters that came back were high in numbers, they were much smaller now. Fang Yuan had a guess. At his will, thousands of green wind blades flew out around his body, shooting out. The wind blades arrived like a huge net, engulfing the countless snow monsters on the ground. The desolate beast snow monsters were intact, but the small snow monsters were sliced into pieces. At once, marks from the blades were on the ground as snow splattered. Fang Yuan activated his investigative goo. His eyes shined brightly as he observed the battlefield. As expected, once ten feet tall snow monsters die, they cannot produce more snow monsters. After confirming his guess, he relaxed slightly. Soon after, he had a flash of inspiration. Is this because of the blizzard? 
splitting his focus, he activated over a hundred mortal goo in a few breaths' time. A domain of darkness formed from under his feet, creating a dark veil. This was Gu Immortal Hai Cheng's battlefield killer move Dark Veil. The immortal aperture could not normally have battlefield killer moves inside. This was because battlefield killer moves had Dao marks, they changed the environment, they clashed with the immortal aperture's own Dao marks and would result in damage. But the battlefield killer moves here referred to immortal battlefield killer moves. Fang Yuan's Dark Veil was mortal level. It was not problematic. He also had Zhu Song's eyes mortal battlefield killer move, Snow Domain, but if he used it, it would increase the strength of the snow monsters. It was inappropriate. Once Dark Veil was used, the surrounding blizzard weakened. As expected, the small snow monsters started growing at a slower speed. But this did not last. The blizzard seemed to have been enraged. It rampaged more fiercely. As the snow moved rapidly, Dark Veil was being compressed. It shrunk to Fang Yuan's feet before completely collapsing with a loud sound. Only 20% of the hundred goo worms that made up Dark Veil survived. They were retrieved by Fang Yuan. Desolate beast snow monsters appear continuously, and small snow monsters appear from their corpses. They would also become stronger at an unthinkable speed due to the blizzard. It is counterproductive to try and isolate the blizzard. Now it seems, I can only get rid of the small snow monsters as well as the desolate beast snow monsters, Fang Yuan concluded. He did not guess wrongly. This calamity was very powerful. This was only Sovereign Immortal Aperture's first calamity, but it had greatly exceeded who Immortal Blessed Land's fifth Blue Charm Lightning Shadow, sixth Swamp Crab, and seventh Blood Poison Carry a Flower's earthly calamities. His immortal essence was continuously expended. As he concentrated deeply, his mind was feeling fatigue. But Fang Yuan was also getting more familiar with using the killer move Sword Marks targeting death. Time passed. The heaven and earth Kai in the immortal aperture continued to rumble. The blizzard formed also was growing immensely. Fang Yuan's expression was grim. He noticed that this earthly calamity was not only huge, it was going to last a long time. It was far stronger than the ten great catastrophes. Desolate beast snow monsters continued to increase in numbers. Fang Yuan's sword marks targeting death could no longer kill them quickly enough. The newly formed small snow monsters were large in numbers. Fang Yuan had to use mortal killer moves to kill them. He was handling both matters at the same time. It was hard to manage them. Thankfully, these snow monsters cannot fly. I occupy the high ground. Even though I need to deal with the blizzard, the initiative is still with me. The moment this thought flashed in Fang Yuan's mind, the loud screech of an eagle entered Fang Yuan's ears. Fang Yuan raised his head and his expression turned dark. This was bad. In the blizzard, iron crown eagles made from snow were forming. An eagle flapped its wings, charging at Fang Yuan with a ferocious aura. Fang Yuan quickly turned around, using sword marks targeting death to deal with the eagle. But in a short time, three more iron crown eagles formed, flying in the air, encircling him. His pressure increased, danger was approaching. Chapter 1055 Fang Yuan undergoes Tribulation 35. Three Iron Crown Eagles charged at Fang Yuan. Sword Marks Targeting Death. Fang Yuan internally gasped to think that at the crucial moment, this had happened. As the activation of the killer move failed, the backlash caused blood to flow down from the corner of his mouth. After all, he had owned this sword path killer move for too short of a time. In an emergency, when he was not focused, the failure rate of activation would surge. An eagle screech resounded, it could burst eardrums. The iron crown eagle in front of him pounced. Fang Yuan quickly dodged, a phantom image behind him flickered as light illusion bat wings appeared, dodging the eagle's attack. But the shield of wind around him was already broken, the iron crown eagle's claws tore through it in a moment. Fang Yuan squinted, 
he decided to use sword marks targeting death again, and he succeeded. The sword light was extremely sharp. It easily pierced the iron crown eagle's back and continued to shoot out. Suddenly, cold winds blew behind him as Fang Yuan's heart skipped a beat. He had no time to think further. He used sword escape immortal goo immediately. Swoosh, he shot out like an arrow, piercing the sky. By rising in altitude, he narrowly avoided the attack of the Iron Crown Eagle behind him. He temporarily escaped danger. Fang Yuan stopped using Sword Escape. Sword Escape Immortal Gu flew straight. It was extremely fast. Fang Yuan flew into the sky and was more than ten li away from the Iron Crown Eagle. Letting out a breath, Fang Yuan's heartbeat returned to normal. After regaining his composure, he willed and summoned Flying Sword Immortal Gu. Earlier, he could not recall Flying Sword as it had flown away after piercing the Iron Crown Eagle. There was more than ten breaths of time needed for it to return to Fang Yun. As for the Iron Crown Eagle which got pierced, it cried out pitifully as it crashed towards the ground. Before landing on the ground, its entire body turned into a big mushy pile of snow and ice, scattering. The remaining two Iron Crown Eagles charged to kill Fang Yuan from left and right respectively, as the blizzard roared. Fang Yuan was unwilling to face them head-on. He used sword escape and retreated. Even though his body was superb, it was not as tough as his immortal zombie body. Sword path was good in offense while weak in defense. Sword escape immortal Gu allowed Fang Yuan to fly like an arrow, tearing through the sky as he pulled away from the Iron Crown Eagles. The effect was immediate. Even flying sword immortal Gu was not as fast as Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan flew in a circle in the sky before converging with flying sword immortal Gu, retrieving it. Fang Yuan held Flying Sword Immortal Gu in his hand as he injected Immortal Essence into it. At the same time, he mobilized his Gu Worms and activated more than a hundred supplementary Gu Worms. A profound light was created as it entered Flying Sword Immortal Gu. The two Iron Crown Eagles were coincidentally chasing him with one in front of the other. Fang Yuan stretched out his fingers. He felt a small tremor in his hand as Flying Sword Gu flew out. It turned into an astonishing sword light. It seemed to have the power to pierce the universe. Flying Sword Immortal Gu and the Iron Crown Eagles rapidly approached each other. In the blink of the eye, Flying Sword Immortal Gu flew through the first Iron Crown Eagle and proceeded to pierce the second one without any loss in momentum. Two birds with one stone. The Iron Crown Eagle in front flew for a moment before breaking apart. The one behind was still intact. It continued to fly towards Fang Yuan, as if it had an immense grudge against him. Fang Yuan was about to take back Flying Sword Immortal Gu when his mind shuddered. Out of nowhere, a burst of true meaning was entering his mind. Fang Yuan's brows raised. He could not conceal his joy. This is Reckless Savage's infusion of true meaning. It seems that my original guess was not wrong. It succeeded. Fang Yuan was purposely undergoing tribulation in the icy plain. It was for the true meaning of reckless savage. Because in historical records, when Strength Path and Transformation Path Gu Masters undergo tribulation in the icy plain, they would receive an infusion of reckless savage's true meaning, obtaining a growth in their attainment levels. But this gift was only for Gu Masters when they ascended to Immortal. After the Gu Master becomes an immortal, the calamities and tribulations happen in their immortal apertures, they would not receive any infusion of true meaning. But after Fang Yuan obtained the killer move Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture, he wondered if this killer move would be able to cause the infusion of true meaning. Earlier, when he killed the desolate beast snow monsters and small snow monsters, he did not receive any infusion of true meaning. He thought he was wrong. But after killing the Iron Crown Eagle, there seemed to be an infusion of true meaning. Although it was a dangerous situation, he could not confirm it. Now, he could finally feel the infusion of true meaning. A sense of understanding arose in him. He seemed to have turned into an Iron Crown Eagle, from birth until its first flight, 
and until it soared the skies, he felt its wings flapping strongly, they had great strength. He clenched his fists like two claws of an iron crown eagle. He looked around, being able to see up to a gigantic distance away. His strength path and transformation path attainment levels were rising. And his flying attainment level was also rising slightly. The infusion of true meaning was like the guidance of reckless savage demon venerable, without any withheld information. Undeniably, the rise of attainment levels gave great benefits in all aspects. If he trained normally, his attainment level might rise after decades or centuries. Other than dream realms, only something like the infusion of reckless savage's true meaning here could raise the attainment level of someone so easily. In fact, dream realms themselves are the manifestations of emotions, obsessions and desires, they are the remains of countless wills. Once one succeeds in exploring a dream realm, their attainment level would rise. It is the same as breaking free from the obstruction of emotions in the dream realm. Without losing oneself, one could extract true meaning from these scattered memories and gain a growth in attainment level. Everything, in essence, is still true meaning infusion. Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with bright light. The Iron Crown Eagle approached, but Fang Yuan easily dodged it. There was only one Iron Crown Eagle left. Fang Yuan created some distance from it and used sword marks targeting death to kill it without any mishaps. Looking over his immortal essence, there was still some left. Even though he used multiple sword path killer moves and rank 7 immortal goo, Fang Yuan was well prepared. He was not as desperate as the time he was traveling. He had not borrowed from Lang Yalan spirit yet. Most of his resources were in fact spent on the killer move Immortal Tribulation Tempering Aperture. There were no enemies in the sky now. Fang Yuan looked at the ground. The snow monsters stood on the ground, raising their heads and growling at him. The number is higher now. Fang Yuan frowned. At the next moment, countless green wind blades and dark vortexes appeared out of nowhere, shooting down. Like surging waves of a river, he unleashed a terrifying attack that covered the entire area, engulfing all of the snow monsters. Boom, boom, boom. Explosions occurred continuously. After dozens of breaths of time, Fang Yuan stopped attacking. The huge number of snow monsters had decreased innumerably, the ground had a lot of empty space now. Only the desolate beast snow monsters were still around, like dozens of huge pillars. He had only used mortal methods, they were not threatened by them. Huff huff huff. Small sounds were produced, completely covered by the raging blizzard. More small snow monsters emerged from the snow. It has only been such a short time, but these snow monsters are still persisting. Fang Yuan felt this was quite a headache. He could only use sword marks targeting death to kill the desolate beast's snow monsters quickly. At the same time, he used mortal methods to kill the uncountable number of small snow monsters. What made him feel strange was, no matter how many snow monsters he killed, be it desolate beasts or not, he received no true meaning of reckless savage. This earthly calamity is very strange, there aren't records of it in history. But at its current strength, it has already surpassed High Lu Lan's ascension. At this time, spirals formed in the blizzard, as a change occurred. Cranes flew out of the spirals. These cranes had pure white and clean feathers, they were graceful and had beautiful cries, they were desolate beast nine palace cranes. Fang Yuan licked his lips, he charged forward with bloodthirsty intent. After killing one, there was indeed an infusion of true meaning infusion. Fang Yuan felt very excited, his eyes were shining brightly. Snow descended, wild winds blew, Fang Yuan engaged in combat with these nine palace cranes. He moved around rapidly in all directions. He could maneuver agilely as he flew up and down. At first, he fought alone against many enemies. He was pushed back and fell into a passive position. But after killing a few nine palace cranes, he had more space to move around. He could retreat and advance more easily. As his gains increased, he started to gain control of the situation. 
he had an easier time. Nine of these nine palace cranes had appeared this time, they were three times the number of iron crown eagles, but they were still killed by Fang Yuan, it just took a longer time. The results were gratifying. Fang Yuan could feel his attainment level rising, he was improving again. This type of feeling towards getting stronger was extremely intoxicating. However, when Fang Yuan saw the uncountable number of snow monsters on the ground, his heart sank again. Earlier, he was only fighting over a dozen desolate beast snow monsters, but now there were fifty to sixty of them. And in the blizzard, more and more small snow monsters were appearing, while the desolate beast snow monsters were progressing to ancient desolate beast level. This situation made Fang Yuan determined to stop it as soon as possible. In this situation, I can only use the third sword path killer move. Immortal killer move triple layered sword wave. Fang Yuan took in a deep breath. More than 60% of his concentration was on this. He activated more than 500 mortal goo at once, and even more supplementary goo worms as time passed. This killer move's difficulty as well as the time needed to activate it were far higher than sword marks targeting death. Thus, it could not be used extensively. Finally, Fang Yuan took out Wave Sword Immortal Goo. This Immortal Goo looked like either a blade or water at various times. It expanded in the air, soon resembling a blue circular wave of water. It surrounded the area all around it. Fang Yuan was about to attack the snow monsters, when at this time, a huge figure descended. Fang Yuan raised his head and drew in a deep breath. He saw that a giant ruined bat had formed and filled the sky, covering the surroundings. Oh no! Fang Yuan's heart jumped. This ruined bat was huge. It was an ancient desolate beast, able to fight rank 7 Gu Immortals. At the same time, ruined bats were space path beasts. They had incredible destructive force if they rampaged in the immortal aperture. They could even shatter the walls of the immortal aperture. 